was all a dream. Hell, even if it wasn't, I won't turn back! Are we ready for this? They were nothing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Coming with me. Velvet! It's okay. I killed their owner. I deserve all their hate. And then some. But not now. Understand? Once I get my revenge, you can tear me apart if you like. I promise. Until then, I'll need your help. Guess the art finally evaporated. The book! It disappeared! What book? I found a copy of the ancient book with every page still intact. It was in Velvet's house. Artorius's book! The real one might still be there. We should go back to Velvet's house to search for it. That was one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. The caster probably has a tethered Moloch with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still, we may have a new clue to the nature of Enominot. You found Enominot's book, right, Lafayette? Yeah, in Velvet's house. Then let's hurry to Velvet's house.
disgraceful. <laughs> There's nobody here. This is reality. empty. No surprise there. Artorias is too thorough to overlook something like that. If only I'd showed it to you as soon as I found it. Don't beat yourself up over it. We wouldn't have been able to read it without Grimoire anyhow. It was just a dream. All of it.
This was your room, wasn't it? You can knit? I was trying to learn. Nico said she'd teach me how as a thank you for giving her my quiche recipe. We wanted to finish a set of scarves for the winter. Velvet. Forget about it. I don't need to knit anymore. Check out all these complicated looking books. A hand drawn map! Nice. It's incomplete, but seems quite detailed. It's beautiful. My brother drew it every day. Even when his fever got too strong for him to read a book, he'd stare at that map for hours. Luffy said he... he wanted to travel the world? Yes, it was his dream. I never understood what made him want to do something so dangerous. But I'm living his dream now. It's ironic, isn't it? Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Melchior! As obtuse as ever. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break through such resolve. If you weren't a Therian, I'd be tempted to take you under my wing. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed. Although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorias' mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul, who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission! Look who obeyed me for once. Is that... You didn't! Be patient. You'll know everything before long. What we seek is the realization of a perfect order, as tranquil and beautiful as a wildflower in bloom. A perfect order? Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. doing there wait that's one of Arthur's actually it's a copy that Lafayette made Lafayette made a copy of the book he transcribed it all by hand and then he sold it just to buy me that comb there was something here for us after all If that's the complete manuscript, we might be able to unravel Inominat's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. Huh. 
All right. Time to drop off the pups and get Grimoire to translate this book. We're going back to Titania. <laughs>